Yo. What up? What's up? What up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, and we're back with a performer's basketball review of a recently released sneaker, and it's by Jordan, and it's the M12. Yep. right in on that traction okay so the traction was actually um it wasn't the best traction ever but it actually wasn't that bad it was good it was pretty yeah, it was, good it was pretty good yeah so um it was minimal wiping yeah right and um the you, you don't stick to the floor like glue like you don't stop immediately you sl uh, slide a little bit so you go like this and slide a little bit yeah. you know but um you do stop right and there's really no slipping like crazy yeah. and, and there's minimal wiping like i just said so um, this is a pretty uh good traction yeah obviously from the bottom it looks a lot like the jordan 28 and 29 yep and, and also the rubber is really soft so yeah. i wouldn't recommend playing in these outdoors um and i don't know what to call this pattern what is like a wave pattern or something uh, wave yeah, pattern. some type of wavy pattern yeah wave it is pattern. wavy bro <laughs> yeah so uh yeah tractions are pretty good yeah and uh the grooves are kind of shallow definitely probably not an outdoor shoe yeah so uh and the outsoles seem to be tr semi-translucent on mm -hmm. this colorway i'm not sure if they're all going to be semi-translucent or not yep um and then as far as the cushion goes we have full length phylon. Mm -hmm. Compression mode phylon. Right, and then there is a zoom unit in the forefoot. And it's pretty nice, you can feel it. Yeah, it feels like it's top loaded Yeah. for some reason. Um, if you guys have ever tried the Hyper Rev 2015, um, it feels really similar to that. And um, But this feels a little bit softer and you can feel it a little better, you know? Yeah. So um, yeah, the cushion was actually really nice. I enjoyed playing the uh, in this after playing in it for like a, an hour or two it feels a little bit hard on the forefoot area of my foot um just because there's so much pressure on that part you know so yeah. it, it started kind of hurting for some reason but right um just playing it for a few games it felt really nice yeah also uh in the cushion in the midfoot we have a flight speed just just your midfoot shank that'll give you more bounce back when you're stepping and jumping mm -hmm. Uh, I was really impressed with the cushion. You know, I liked it a lot. It was super responsive, but you still had a little bit of bounce. You could feel the zoom, but it wasn't too much. Yep. Um, I, it was really dope. I was impressed. It felt good. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to the upper, what do we got going on here? Some bunch of mesh? Yep, and e EM or engineered mesh um, right here is um, on the lateral side, it's a lot harder and it's a lot sturdier. And on the medial side, it's a lot softer. So um, yeah, that's actually perfect just because you need a lot of support here because this is a high wear area and this is gonna this tends to rip right here. On the medial side of the shoe, there's really no pressure on this side. Um, so uh, this can be softer, right? Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the materials are really nice. Uh, it's really soft. It's good to go right out the box. You don't really have to break it in. And uh, yeah, what would you feel about it? Yeah, you got this synthetic uh, leather in the back here. Um, I liked it. You know, when I first put on the shoe, I, I wasn't too impressed. Um, you know, but the materials are decent. They break in really well. You have a little bit of uh, synthetic overlay on the toe for, for uh, better durability. Um, and then you ha do have some type of, uh, looks like, uh, you know, straps to lock down, kind of like Flywire, but they're not free moving. They're attached to the upper, so they don't really do much. They're more so for looks. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I think the materials are cool. Yep. You know, moving on to the fit, you know, right when I stepped into it, I wasn't too into the fit. It just felt, it just felt kind of cheap and yeah. uh, not the perfect fit. Yeah. Um, the fit in the toe area was nice. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. But then here um, in the ankle area, it just didn't feel secure right here. Yeah. I don't know why. Just 
I don't know. I, it's I almost know like a really. low, you know, like yeah. it almost should have been a low because yeah. it's so flimsy up here. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, really. the shape of it is, yeah. is kind of weird. So um, the fit in the ankle area was kind of weird. The toe area was really nice. Um, and then uh, moving on to support, the overall fit was pretty good in the toe area. So uh, the support here was good. And then um, you, I thought there was a um, TPU heel counter here because this is actually pretty hard. Like, right. I, like I was just tapping on it really softly like this. But if you press on it really hard, there's actually no heel counter, which is really bizarre to me. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, there was really no problem with heel containment or anything like that. And uh, my heel actually didn't really move around at all. So the heel containment was good too in lockdown. Yeah, you have these asymmetrical Achilles pillows. Feels good. It feels nice and it'll help you keep your heel down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I really had no heel slippage. Lockdown was really good. Mm -hmm. And after breaking it in a little bit, I actually wasn't mad at the fit. Yep. You know, it felt good. Um, you know, it started to mold to my foot better, which, you know, you always like to see that. So really no complaints there. The tongue is super, super thin, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's cool. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have a thicker tongue depending on the, the silhouette. Yeah. This tongue feels nice that it's minimal. Um, and then it's kind of like a, a half booty construction. Yep. Right. So it's it's attached to the upper halfway down. So you get more like a sock like fit. Mm -hmm. And then halfway up, it's detached. So you still have a little bit of tongue. Um, so now moving on to ventilation. Ventilation was, um, it was all right, not the best. There was no airflow really going in. Um, so you didn't really feel cool air, but then it's a, a material, uh, it's a cloth-like material. It's a woven material. So uh, the moisture does go onto it and it dries off. So uh, it wasn't super hot in this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, ventilation was chill. Uh, nothing really to complain about. Mm -hmm. uh, durability, you know, seems somewhat durable mesh isn't the most durable material obviously it's a yeah. textile so you know durability is not going to be off the charts you know and then as far as outdoor use like we said the, the traction doesn't seem too too strong of a rubber outsole so that'll probably wear down pretty fast yeah all right so yeah the durability uh doesn't seem that good but the material seemed really sturdy right here in the highway areas yeah so it seems to be pretty nice and you also do have that strap here so you do have more uh, lockdown and uh, more support so that it doesn't rip as easily here right on the lateral side so yeah uh, uh, moving on to aesthetics uh, what do you think about the shoe I think it's pretty dope I mean I'm, I've never been a real big fan of the mellow line uh, looks wise I think this one is one of the better looking mellows I've seen in a, in a while um, and you know I, I, I like this colorway too you know I like all black usually um, and it's got a little bit of touches of blue and this kind of magenta color uh, you know, I think it's I think it's pretty dope. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good looking shoe. Um, did you see the all red colorway? Oh yeah, those red and like brown. And yeah, those are dope. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a good looking shoe. I think. Um, it's a really simple kind, of, actually really simple silhouette, right? Yeah, There's it not, is. Not too much going on. Yeah, they didn't go too nuts or try yeah. to do anything too crazy. Which, which I like. I like simpler shoes. Yeah. You know? So it's a good looking shoe. Yeah. So overall. Um, this is a good performer, right? Uh, yeah. I would totally recommend this. So last year's um, M11 was like 160, I think, and they dropped the price of the M12 to 135. So um, that's actually really awesome. And they actually kept the tech uh, pretty like good, you know? Uh, the traction was decent. The cushion was really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, and then the, the mesh, engineered mesh is uh, soft and super pliable, but also sturdy yeah. and supportive. So yeah, overall, it was nice just this, just this part it, it didn't feel nice on my ankle so yeah it's my really my only complaint right yeah i was really impressed with the shoe i, I really like it it's the type of shoe i i see myself playing in you know i want to reach in my bag and grab them to put them on um feels super minimal the cushion's nice uh, you know you have a little bit of ankle support but it's not it's not overboard uh if anything it's a little lacking like, yeah. like you said but you know we will we wear ankle braces so we can kind of do without that a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but it's, you know, everybody's different. I think it's a dope shoe. I would definitely recommend it, you know, especially to, you know, I recommend it to a lot of different kinds of players exactly, too. Yeah. It's a pretty good universal shoe. It's not, not going to break your, your bank. It's seems pretty durable. Um, and yeah. So what about you, you recommend this? Yeah, I definitely recommend this. Yeah. Cool. 
So, um, yeah, that's a review of the Mellow M12, or do I have to say Mellow, or do I just say M12? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Mellow 12. Mellow 12, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, make sure to check us out on Instagram and Twitter. We do post updates of the shoe while we're reviewing it. So, uh, if you guys want quick updates, then just uh, make sure to follow us there. And if you guys want a written review, you guys can go check us out at thesobros.com. It's right over here. And, and also, be sure to check out Sam on MySpace. Uh, MySpace. <laughs> myspace.com slash uh, big boy sam <laughs> the big boy <laughs> uh, or or uh, actually you can email me at samuelly at hotmail.com right or aol.com right or you can send me a um what's it called AIM? i'm still on net zero <laughs> you, you can message us uh on my aim name my aim name is uh at the big boy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. All right, We're so done here. <laughs> We're done. Our work is done. Yep. My name is Sam. I'm Don. This is Big Don. Big Boy. <laughs> and we're uh, the Soul Brothers, and that's our performance review of the Jordan M12 by for Carmelo Anthony. God bless him. All right, we're out of here. Later. Peace. Yeah, I, I was uh, impressed. Uh, obviously, from the bottom, it looks a lot like uh, looks like like. <laughs>